Hi Sefton Park Palm House followers! I am Naomi and I am the events coordinator at the Palm House but I also treat, teach the life drawing classes that we hold during the summer. So I've been working from home and trying to think of creative tasks that we can all enjoy um, and the first idea that I've come up with is to make a window collage. So I chose this idea because I thought it would be suitable for quite a lot of age ranges um, and also because most people have a window in their home. Um, and if you don't, don't worry because we can just draw one. So I'm just going to talk you through what you'll need. Um, the first thing we, we need is a image of our window. So whether or not you're drawing the, your image of your window or you're printing it off, you'll need to start with that. So I've got an image of my window printed. Um, so you just need a camera and a printer. Um, and you just print it on normal A4 sheet of paper. Um, and if not, obviously you can just draw it on the A4 sheet of paper to cut out later. Um, so in order to cut it out, you'll need a cutting board, you need Pritt stick and you need a pair of scissors. And for our more advanced viewers, you can use a scalpel or a crafting knife, but um, I would advise against it for the younger viewers. Um, you can also use different glues. You can use PVA, you can use craft glue, adhesive. Um, but again, I'm going to be using today a Pritt stick and a pair of scissors. So before we cut out our window frame um, to get started, uh, the first thing you need to do as well before that is image selection. So if you don't know already, that it's quite likely that your house is a treasure trove of images. Um, so you can look in magazines, newspapers, um, old photo albums, maybe some photos that you don't like. <laughs> um, cards, you know, paper, just any, any sort of tea boxes. There are images everywhere all over your house. So have a little rifle and make yourself a selection. And um, so I have popped all my images that I like just on a box. So I've got like a mixture of card, mixture of papers, um, and you can just go through them and any images that you find that call to you, um, you can just cut out and pick and we'll put, start to put them together. Um, so I've already selected a background image that I think will work in our window frame and then I started to think about um, things that I would like to go in the foreground or behind the window frame. So I obviously work in the Palm House so I like flowers so I've pre-cut out some flowers and some birds um, to go on top of my background. So I'm just going to quickly show you uh, how to cut out your window frame. So firstly you're going to want to cut around your image loosely so we'll just do that first. So you don't need to be too specific, so we're just cutting out roughly around the edge. a very rough outline of the photo. So as you can see I've uh, neatened up these edges just using the scissors and um, so just some nice straight lines and um, this is the bit that people normally find difficult so I'm cutting out the inside of the window as you can see it's uh, just the white bit which is where our image is going to be composed and um, so to do that I'm just going to slice a little bit of an edge in there just to get myself a little bit of room. And I'm going to pop and cut into the center like so. And then from there you can cut easier out the sort of white shapes. So I'm just going to show you a quick little tip for getting these window inserts out. So as you can see I've just cut into the edge of the frame of where I want to cut to and I've just left this sort of like flap and you can just fold that over to make it easier to cut if you like and then just use the scissors to cut along just to get a nice straight line So once you're happy with the cut out of your window frame, that will be the last thing that you stick down um, as your foreground piece. So you want to get your base sheet of paper 
and some selected images that you have chosen from earlier. So as I said, I work at the Palm House, so I obviously like flowers and I also like birds. So I've pre-cut out some flowers and birds that we're going to use in our collage. Um, but you can also just draw things that you want to be. So you can be as creative as you like with this. Um, so for one of my collages, I, I just drew a bunch of little paper boats and put them in as well. So they can be a great tool for perspective to add a bit of depth to your collage. So the main background image which I've selected for my window is this image from Liverpool City Centre. And you might recognise it. Um, and firstly, I just need to make sure that the image that I want is going to fit within the frame. So I quite like the fact that there are little trees because that gives and um, will build the image a little bit and, and won't just look like we're looking up into the air. Although that's okay if that's something that appeals to you. Um, so I'm going to probably cut out this section of the, of the piece. So as you can see, I have all my different elements ready. So I've got my background image um, and then I've got my uh, little cutouts. So what you want to do now is compose your image. So if you pop your frame on top, this is what you'll see. Um, so if we go, I think I'm going to go with that. So then you can sort of start to picture what it is you'll want the final image to look like. So if you can see some of my images are just a bit too too tall so I'm going to need to trim those. That sort of blocks one of the balls so maybe pop that. Maybe not use that one at all. Um, and then I'm going to put my birds in. So I can, I've decided that now my birds can probably go in last because they're going to be and um, they're going to fit within the frame so I can glue them down right at the very end. Um, so what I'm going to do now, now that I know the composition of my image, what I want to see at the end, I'm going to use the frame and take a pencil just to draw on the base page where I'm going to want to glue it down, it all down eventually. So I just slightly mark out where the size of the image. And then once you've done that as well, you can just do the same thing on your, or even just the bits that you'll need. So you could probably just draw the lines just there. So you have a, a good idea of what you need, precise size of the image that you need to cut out. And I would advise here that maybe just cutting slightly larger than you need would be good because you've got the, the space of the frame to cover any rough edges. Right, so now we're ready to start gluing. So I've cut this out to more of an exact shape. As you can see, it goes just to that edge. That fits nicely. Um, so what we'll do is just glue down the background image. So when applying the Pritt stick, it's good to just make sure that there's no lumps. Um, so you want to get the edges. Um, if you're just using like a lightweight paper, it should stick rather easily, but um, just try and avoid those little lumps and be careful when you're pasting it down. So maybe just do, so put as much glue as you want on, just as long as it's nice and flat. So you want to get a good coverage. And then just, so when you're popping it down, just try and iron out all those lumps. Now, depending on what kind of material you've cut out as your background image, this can be a bit harder. So some some quality papers will rub and you might get a bit of a colour fade. Um, but that's gone down nicely, so we're ready to stick the next picks on. So when you're adding in all your little details, you just want to constantly be making sure that everything fits correctly within the frame so you can just use your window frame as a reference point so as you can see this one would need a little trim because it's just running over the edge and will be on the other side of that frame and um, so I've already cut this one and I know where I'm going to stick that so that'll be the next thing I put down and um, these little birds as I said can go in last because they fit inside the top of the frame anyway and um, 
having put this down, I've realised that actually I want to draw um, a connection between outside and inside by adding this one as if it's on the inside of the window. Um, so I'm going to put that one in at the very end as well. So I'm just going to glue everything down and then we should have our finished collage. So I've glued down my uh, flower that I wanted on the outside of the window and then I've glued the window frame just over the top. And the things I haven't glued down yet are the is the flower that I want to be on the inside of the window and my two little birds which fit within this frame anyway. As you can see I've used the bigger bird and the smaller bird to create a sense of perspective across that top frame so it gives you a sense of depth um, as if it's a real life image. You don't have to do that and um, you can make it as simple or as complicated as you want really because um, it's your window and it's your fantasy so you can put anything you like in it. Um, I've chosen to work with windows because um, a window collage can be different every single time. So our days can be feeling a little bit monotonous at the minute. Um, but you can have the same window and a different idea in it every single day. And if you're somebody who responds to routine, um, this might really be a creative project that helps you. Or something you can do with kids. Um, so I'm just going to glue the last things down. And then um, that's us done. Hello! So this is our finished image um, of our window. So as you can see, I uh, created a sense of perspective with the sort of smaller bird being further away and the bigger bird being up close. We had our background image and we're drawing um, sort of the inside out by uh, drawing them closer together by using a sort of similar image inside the window frame and outside the window frame. Um, I've made composition choices there, but you can put whatever you want inside your... Uh, own window frame and your own window collage and I just hope that it's something that you can enjoy as a family or if you're on your own just by yourself and you can make it as complicated or as simple as you like so you, you can even just put one image behind the window and it can be different every single day so maybe um, one day you don't really feel like doing much you can just make a really simple one using an image of somewhere you quite like being or um, another day you want to make a whole world of with different landscapes and birds and well, I say birds, I like birds. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoy the creative task and I hope it's been very clear and I'll be back soon, hopefully with a, another quick tutorial. Thank you.